channel so I'm in baby boy's bedroom and I've officially hit 39 weeks I honestly cannot believe I've hit this point I never got this far with Rose Rose was 10 days early um, and I'm definitely at that point where I'm desperate for baby boy to arrive um, I'm obviously excited for his arrival but also I'm just so uncomfortable I'm really struggling to sleep at the minute um, I honestly cannot go a whole day without a nap I'm just really at that point now where um, everything's aching everything's really sore I'm really struggling in general so I'm hoping it's gonna arrive really soon um, I certainly don't want to go beyond our due date um, the due date for baby boy is the 6th of May so I'm hoping that I've gone into labor before then I'm honestly hoping the next two to three days he will be here we did also have a midwife appointment last week for our 38 week midwife appointment so she just did the usual checkup so she did like my blood pressure um she checked baby's heartbeat she was absolutely happy with everything he seems really healthy and obviously he's ready anyway which is what we knew so that's all good and great news um i feel like he's running out of room even more i mean i know i say that every single update um but in the afternoons when he's full on awake it's like I said it's so uncomfortable and his movements now actually are starting to hurt me uh, whereas before obviously it was just it was nice it was moving and stuff but now he's just got no room in there that every time he moves it is so sore and uncomfortable and I just yeah it's honestly horrible it really is so i'm really hoping he arrives soon we have also done our birth plan as well um i never really did a birth plan with rose um things were so hectic with rose because we were moving house and everything um it was just go 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 and i didn't have time to even stop whereas this time around it's completely different i'm prepared i've got things organized i'm taking it easy it's a lot more slowed down this time um, i've actually got time to think about things that i want to do and stuff like that so we did write a few things down nothing too much really just that my husband obviously wants to cut the cord i would like some gas and air but if they obviously recommend anything during labor then i'm happy to go with their recommendations and trust their judgment but as a basic level i definitely want gas and air um obviously the birthing center if possible and obviously my husband to be there as well you can go obviously as in-depth as you want with regards to your birth plan but i've left mine very much sort of uh, a couple of points uh, i have also added on there as well that i want to be in and out as quickly as possible so with rose i had postnatal depression and i also had um, or have parental separation anxiety I hate being away from her um, it's just I don't know it does something to me that I can't explain a lot of people don't understand it but it is a thing um, and I just I hate being away from my daughter um, and obviously we had I had postnatal depression as well when I had Rose I think we had so much going on uh, we weren't ready obviously new time parents as well so um, I want to be in and out I want to try and make sure that my mindset is as positive as it can be uh, what I have actually done is I've done myself a little care package so I will put a little video here just showing you what's inside but it's just a basket of things containing things for the bath just to remind me to honestly have a bath to take some time for me to shower um, I've got my favorite chocolates in there as well with Rose I wasn't looking after myself I wasn't taking regular showers and I was in a very dark place so I want to make sure this time that I am trying to look after me as well as obviously the kids because um, obviously without me being 100% I can't look after them 100% so I'm trying to be mindful of that um, I've also got a book in there as well just again keep my mind in a positive state um, and it's just a little care package really just to remind me to take a break um, my husband's obviously here is a great support but to let him support me and take the bath when I need to take a bath and have regular showers and just to ensure that I am looking after myself a bit of self-care so I've called it a little self-care package um, that I actually did see on here on YouTube I saw somebody else do it as well and I thought it was a brilliant idea um, I honestly can't remember who it was who I saw it from um, but I thought it was such a great idea just to contain honestly a few things that just reminds you to look after yourself I know that some people also put like vouchers in there and um, like for like takeout and stuff um, but I've just kept mine very simple, very budget friendly, but just as a reminder to 
to just make sure that I am looking after myself and that I don't go backwards uh, with regards to my depression and obviously my mindset. So, so that's another thing that I've done. I've also done my hospital bag as well, finally. So um, I did do that last week. I finalised it. I've just got the standard stuff in there, really. If you guys do want to see a hospital bag video, then let me know. But I know there's tons on here, so I didn't want to just do the same video that's already out there for you guys to find. But there's just basic stuff in there, like PJs for me, going home outfit for me, got spare clothes for me, along with some shower stuff as well. Um, and obviously toothpaste and stuff and then for baby I've just put basic stuff in there put basic vest basic sleep suits in there because that is honestly all they're gonna wear for the first little while I haven't gone and got an outfit or anything because I have learned that they just you just don't put them in it because it's more hassle than it is worth they honestly just they live in sleep suits and vests the first few months. Um, so that's what I've stuck with. There were some hats in there for him as well. The sleep suits that we have already has like the sort of footies built in and also the scratch mittens as well. I find the separate scratch mittens are just useless. They always come off and just, they always, yeah, they're just faff. And uh, I find if they're built into the actual sleep suit, it is so much better. Um, I've got some blankets and muslims, obviously nappies as well for little one, along with my notes. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. A lot of basic stuff. Got a change of clothes for my husband as well, just in case we are in there um, a little bit longer than we hope to be. But the plan is, hopefully, it's going to be a smooth birth um, and we're going to be in and out. That is my aim that is my hope um but obviously if anything does go wrong we will be there a little bit longer so i am prepping for that um but as i said earlier i want to be in and out as much as possible i originally wanted a home birth but unfortunately that's no longer possible so obviously we're now having to go into the hospital so we're trying to just go with it because there's not a lot we can do about it. Trying to stay in a positive mood, or certainly I am, because like I said last time, I did get postnatal depression and I'm really trying hard to be mindful of that and just taking it easy. That's why I went on maternity leave a little bit earlier this time as well, just so I had time to breathe, to get in the right mind. Um the right mindset and yeah <laughs> and bringing a baby boy into the world which is just a most magical experience it really is um obviously no one likes labor uh, but once it's here it'll be so totally worth it um i will also show you a bump shot here as well i don't think my bumps change too much uh, but i will show you a little bump shot here um and yeah hopefully he arrives soon i'm really hoping in the next couple of days i will be on here telling you that he has arrived um but we shall see <laughs> i'm hoping um that he's not going to go over his due date by too much um because i am really really struggling these days but that is it for today's video that's all i've got for you symptom wise honestly not much has changed other than the fact that everything is now painful and uncomfortable um so i'm here 39 weeks i'm hoping i'm not going to hit 40 weeks but if I do I'll be back here with an update for you guys um, probably bawling my eyes out <laughs> because I just so desperately want him to arrive now Rose is also really excited she's actually counting down the days to the due date it's quite cute actually nursery have sort of asked what the due date is and they're saying oh it's going to come in six days or five days so it's really cute because she's getting really excited obviously I've told her that he can come early or he can come late but she's she's very excited because she keeps saying i'm gonna meet baby brother soon and uh yeah so she's being really cute about it she really is and she's super excited to meet her baby brother so hopefully not long now but thank you very much for being here thank you very much for listening to me chat on um and i'll see you next time guys take care